This is Dr. Venesu. Diabetes mellitus or simply diabetes is a condition that results when sugar levels in the blood are high. This is because pancreas in the diabetic person fails to produce enough insulin. Insulin is produced by beta cells in the pancreas. There are two main reasons for damage of insulin producing beta cells. Accordingly, there are two types of diabetes. Firstly, beta cells are damaged by autoimmune reaction. Immune system mistakes body's own healthy beta cells as bacteria and attack and destroy these insulin producing beta cells. After beta cells are destroyed, pancreas fail to produce insulin. Diabetes caused by destruction of beta cells by autoimmune reaction is termed as type 1 diabetes. This constitutes only 5 to 10 percent of all diabetics. The second major reason for damage of beta cell is insulin resistance. In this case, body cells stop responding to insulin or have become resistant to insulin. Diabetes due to insulin resistance is termed as type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance leading to type 2 diabetes is the main cause of diabetes and constitute 90 to 95 percent of all diabetics. In this video, I will discuss how insulin resistance that's the major cause of diabetes damages beta cells in the lung. These are insulin producing beta cells inside the pancreas. And this is a hypothetical body cell. Body cells in liver, muscles and the fat cells, they have insulin receptors. After meal, glucose enters the blood. Pancreas makes insulin. Insulin binds to insulin receptor. Insulin acts as a key that unlocks this door. The door opens up, glucose enters inside the cell and the cell utilizes it as energy. And we see it briefly. After meals, glucose enters the blood. Pancreas makes insulin. Insulin binds to insulin receptor and opens up the door. Glucose enters the cell. Level of glucose in the blood comes down. Pancreas stops making fresh insulin. So three changes take place in a normal healthy person. Glucose from the blood enters the body cell. Level of glucose in the blood comes down. When the level of glucose comes down to 90 mg per deciliter, pancreas stop making further insulin. So level of insulin in a normal healthy person is also low. Now in a person with unhealthy lifestyle, some of the body cells stop responding to insulin. That is, these cells become insulin resistant. In such people, when glucose enters the blood, pancreas make insulin. Insulin bind to the receptor, but there is no response as the cell is less sensitive to insulin. As the level of glucose in the blood is still high, pancreas makes more insulin, it binds to the receptor. The receptor responds and the cell takes up glucose. Beta cells, in an effort to secrete enough insulin to overcome insulin resistance, beta cells increase in function, size, and number. So, pancreas in person with insulin system make more and more insulin to help glucose enter the cell. Thus, in such person, though the level of blood glucose or blood sugar is within normal range, the level of insulin in the blood is high. So, people with high insulin probably suffer from insulin resistance. Diabetes can be diagnosed and checked at the insulin resistance state. So, if the person changes his lifestyle, body reverts to the normal healthy state. But if person continues with the unhealthy lifestyle, more and more cells become resistant to insulin and it becomes pre-diabetic. After meals, level of glucose in the blood rises, pancreas make insulin, insulin bind to insulin receptor, but there is no response. Pancreas makes more insulin, binds to the insulin receptor. Again, there is no response, but pancreas continues to make more insulin. Ultimately, the cell responds and takes up glucose. At this stage, in spite of best effort, Pancreas fails to make sufficient insulin to keep blood sugar level at the normal rate. At this stage, level of blood sugar in the blood begins to rise. In pre-diabetics, level of sugar or glucose in the blood is higher than normal person but is not high enough to be diagnosed as diabetes. Or in other words, in normal person, the blood sugar level is less than 100 mg per deciliter. While in the pre-diabetic, the glucose level is between 100 mg per deciliter to 125 mg per deciliter. As level of glucose in the blood is on the higher side, excess glucose binds with proteins and with the fats to form advanced glycation in products. Similarly, excess glucose leads to formation of free radicals, that is, reactive oxygen species and active nitrogen species. These free radicals and the advanced glycation in products and many other chemicals start damaging the body. So, liver converts excess glucose into fat. Fat get deposit in the belly region and make pro-inflammatory cytokines like IL-6, tumor necrotic factor and leads to chronic inflammation. These metabolic and biochemical stresses damage the beta cells 
make them non functional with time more and more beta cells stop producing insulin these metabolic stresses not only damage beta cells they also damage other organs of the body excess fat get deposited in the abdomen and make pro inflammatory adipokines not only the liver doesn't contain any fat but in diabetics fat get deposited in the liver also more than 70% of the diabetics they suffer from non alcoholic fatty liver disease these stresses also damage other organs of the body like muscles heart kidneys they narrow the blood vessels leading to rise in blood pressure also damage the nerves in addition these stresses damage insulin receptors and further make more and more cells resistant to insulin so diabetes is not just glucose insulin and pancreas it is much more than that and affects almost every organ of the body according to research person may already have lost roughly around 50% of beta cell function by the time he is diagnosed as diabetes this means that about half of the beta cells have died or are not able to function properly so in a diabetic after meals blood sugar rises pancreas make insulin but there is no effect because insulin resistance is also high so pancreas makes more insulin as insulin resistance is also high beta cells are not able to produce and secrete enough insulin to keep blood sugar level within the normal range causing over diabetes if person still does not change his lifestyle these metabolic and biochemical stresses and insulin resistance continue to damage more and more beta cells and the stage comes when leftover beta cells can hardly make insulin at this stage person needs injectable insulin now the insulin dependent diabetic after meals blood sugar level rises this injectable insulin binds to the receptor insulin resistance is all time high so even injectable insulin fails to keep blood sugar in normal range quite a good number of cells are not responding to insulin as the insulin resistance is also very high even at this stage the disease is reversible earlier it was believed that these stresses cause irreversible permanent damage to the beta cells but a study in 2019 that these cells are not permanently damaged when beta cells are exposed to metabolic stresses beta cells de differentiate to resist external injuries and stop producing insulin when these stresses are removed beta cells undergo re differentiation and start secreting insulin so diabetes can always be reversed by change in lifestyle reversal is easy in the initial stages but because more and more difficult as the disease progresses these stresses begin to cause irreversible damage to vital organs blood vessels and nerves ideally reverse diabetes before the fasting blood sugar begin to rise or in other words insulin level in the blood begin to rise that's all in this video thank you